Hello everybody, my name is Twippet and today we are playing Planet Zoo. And this game is in beta access right now. And um, it's only available to the people who pre-ordered the deluxe edition, which I did. So we are playing it here. And I recorded this video on the day that the beta released, but I had no idea what I was doing, and so for, for like 20 minutes there, I was just sitting there trying to figure out how to even get animals into exhibit, into an exhibit. So I've played it a little bit on my own now, and I think I'm finally, finally understanding more or less how to play this game. I, I, I figured I'd just scrap what I had before and try and record it, so I'll go ahead and get started here. So. We've got scenario here, and in here there's just this uh, this one level, and that's basically a uh, tutorial level sort of thing. Um, so in the, the the first video I tried to record, I didn't do this first. I just went straight into a franchise game and thought that I would uh, be able to figure it out on my own. Nope, that didn't work out so well. So, I went and did the tutorial, and now I more or less know what I'm doing. But, that only says I ha have one star for some reason. I thought I got all three. Maybe that's another glitch. So, this is, this is in beta right now, so there are going to be some glitches and things that won't work properly. But those will be fixed once the full game releases. I bumped into a few glitches like that, especially... Um, um, one of the big glitches is baby animals can just jump straight through fences and escape their cages, and they're a real pain to get back. I don't know if that's all animal babies or not, which it must not be, because I've only had it with one species so far, so. But, that's definitely not supposed to happen, but... They know about it, and that's gonna get fixed. So here we are. This is franchise mode. This is what we're gonna be doing. Cause we're not, 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 we're not just gonna do the tutorial. We're gonna do a franchise mode. As you can see, I've already got a couple of zoos here. Uh, but we're gonna go ahead and create a, a new zoo. And to do this, you need these. I don't know what they're called. They're called oh, they're con con conservation credits. I think is their name. Um, so I'll explain that more in a second. We'll go ahead and create a new zoo here. Uh, biome. We only have grassland and we only have Asia. I don't know if this is, uh, I don't know if we can unlock more of these in the beta or if it's just locked to this, but it looks like there will be a ton of different biomes and continents and stuff to, um, to make zoos on in the full game. But we're just gonna go with Asia here, because that's the only one that we can do, and we're, let's, let's, hmm. I'm just gonna call this here. YouTube Zoo. There. Okay. We'll create it. I'm terrible with names, so... That's that's as good as we're gonna get. So here we are. That actually loaded a lot quicker than I thought it would. So... <clears throat> we have all this room to work with. This is plenty of space. Well... All this room to work with. There's the line. Okay, so from here to all the way over there, yeah, we've got a good amount of space. So now let's see how I can find the entrance again. There it is, I think. Okay, so so we're gonna, over here. We have this staff alerts thing, and when you start a new zoo, uh, you'll see all of this, and this is basically a whole all the things that you're gonna need. So we need. Uh, keeper hut, a trade center, a vet surgery, quarantine, workshop, research center, and staff center. And we'll go over those in a minute. Okay, so we've got about 40,000 bucks to start off with. That's good. We got plenty of money. So where do we want to start building? We'll go ahead and select a path here. And I want to go with the asphalt. Let me increase the width of that a little bit. 30 feet, that's a little too much. 
So something like that works. Okay, we'll go with that. That looks pretty okay. So, hmm, maybe we'll just go straight. I'm not entirely sure what we want to do with this quite yet. But I think we'll... Okay, well first what we're going to do is we're going to get all these staff things. So I have a... I don't know if I can find it. It should be in facilities. I have a pre-built uh, building here. This thing, the zoo center. This is from the steam workshop. So the steam workshop... Oh, hell here. Okay, I guess it's going to bring it up. So on the workshop here... Um, there's going to be a whole bunch of player-created items, and buildings and stuff, so, like, you could take this research center thing here, place it there or whatever, and build a nice building all around it here, and then you can, uh, take that building and save it as a, as a, um, save it as a whole building, and then you can use it again, you can just, like these things, so, somebody took this thing here, and built walls and stuff around it and put that roof on top of there and saved it and so now you can just drag it and and drop it wherever and then if you build that stuff you can you can take your saved building and then you can upload it to the workshop and other people can use your buildings so i have this thing that i was just browsing and i saw this and it looked like it would be pretty useful so i figured uh that we just skip all of the hassle of putting those in ourselves and just use this so so first where do we want to have our first exhibit i figured we put it somewhere around here i guess we could just put this right here but one of the things about this is the guests do not like to see the staff buildings so you would want to do your best to place these in a place where the guests won't be walking. Okay, well something's keeping that from being placed on the ground properly and it's going through the ground and it's creating ditches and stuff, so I guess we won't be doing that. So, we'll just have to place our own. Oh hey, the staff alert thing went away. I guess I didn't realize that we need these still. Um, but anyway, we'll, we'll just go ahead and put these in ourselves. Whoops. Um, so, <clears throat> I don't, I don't, I'm not, not entirely sure what quarantine is used for. I haven't really needed to use this. So, I think we'll be fine if we don't use that. But, we will want a research station, or center, whatever it's called. We'll want a workshop, I guess, maybe. I don't know what that's for. We definitely want a vet. And now I'm realizing these are all rotated the wrong way. There you go. And they should line up with the path there. Well, not that one, I guess. We'll have to connect that one manually. Uh, we'll want a trade center. That's going to be very important. That's how we're going to get our animals. And then we want a staff room for all of the staff to hang out in. Is there anything else we need? I think we're good. Oh, we need a... We need... We need a what's it called? Where is it? Ah, here we go. A keeper hut. And this... If I can place it... I guess it doesn't want me to place it there. Fine, then. We'll put it right there. Of course, those windows aren't going to have a very nice view, but... <laughs> That's kind of interesting. Okay. So, what the research station or center does is you go into here to research and there's only diseases and stuff here now. But once we get an animal in our zoo, we'll be able to... Oh, I need a... I need, I, apparently I need a quarantine. Okay. But once we get an animal into our zoo, we'll be able to research it. And when you research it, that unlocks new stuff for that animal, like toys and, uh, stuff like that. Where is it? Quarantine. Okay. So I know I said that the guests don't like seeing these things, but they're just gonna have to deal with it. Can I... Where's the... Here we go. Delete these 
paths. I don't in, I'm not entirely sure how this works yet, so I don't know if we just go with the staff path here. Oh, no, turn the leading off. Put these on there. Uh maybe Whoa, what's happening there? Okay. So the paths are a little are a little strange. Hang on. Turn width down, is that that's better. Alright, there we go, there we go. So now we can connect all these to the path. Except that's obstructed. This probably needs to come out a little bit more. I'll put it... No, wait. 26 feet. There you go. Back to staff paths. And turn that down again. And there we go. So that's connected. That's connected. Connect all of these. It says those are staff paths, but they don't look any different than the normal paths. Are you sure? No, they're not. Okay, that's weird. Alright. Make all those staff paths. And I'm not sure if that will help lessen the effect it has on the guests, but yeah. Probably doesn't matter too much. Who cares if the guests aren't happy? We only care about the animals. So, the research center allows you to unlock new new things for animals to make them happier. Don't know what the workshop does. For this vet surgery thing, when your animals get sick or injured or whatever, the vet will take them inside of there and it'll check them up. The keeper hut, this is where the zookeepers or caretakers, I'm not sure which one does it. But this is where the food for the animals is, pre is prepared. A trade center is very important. I'll uh, explain that in a moment here, but first let's take a look at this stuff first. So the staff center, this is where all of the staff, like the zookeepers and the uh, security guards and the janitors and stuff are going to go to take their breaks because they will get tired after a while. On the court, quarantine, I don't know what this does yet. Capacity, eight animals. Okay. Again, I don't know what that does. I haven't used it yet. I don't know if I should be using it, but I'm probably not going to. Anyway, uh, so now let's get into this trade center thing. So if you go down here to animal trading, in franchise mode, there's this thing called the animal market, and this is where you go to get all your animals, obviously. And so, as you can see, there's a price here for these con conservation credits things. And the way you get these is by releasing animals that you have into the wild or um, putting them on this market to sell to other players. And this is what this is. This is you trade animals to other players and with other players. So all of these animals here, these are put up by other players, except for some which, let me see. I don't know if there's one here at the moment, but there are some that like the it'll it'll say that uh, the, the person who put it up was by Frontier Zoo or Planet Zoo or whatever and those are those are like an AI or whatever to, to, to keep the market stocked so that new players can come in and have new animals to be there so that they could can actually play the game and get an animal so so you have these conservation credits but you, you can also buy and sell them for cash, and huh, there is only peafowl on the market for cash at the moment. I saw a whole bunch of stuff for cash earlier. Well, we may have to spend some conservation credits, but that's fine. I made sure that I had some handy for when I recorded this, just in case. So here, if you hover over this, you can see everything that will give you more of these. So releasing animals into the wild, Selling animals in the marketplace, sending your avatar to visit other zoos. I'm not entirely sure how that's going to work yet, but apparently that's a thing. Logging in daily, every like every, every day when you log in and you uh, open up a f franchise or whatever, it'll give you like a hundred of these things to spend. Uh, completing daily, weekly, and monthly challenges. I don't know if... 
probably at the beginning of the video, there was this thing on the the right side where it was like this this event thing where it wanted a bunch of people to release lions to the wild, and that's what this uh, challenge thing is. Uh, and then completing community challenges, so I think that that's what it was. The daily, weekly, and monthly might be a uh, a personal type of thing, but the the community is everyone who's playing the game. So that's how you get more of those. So let's go ahead and get started getting some animals. Let's take uh, what kind of fence do we want? We we can use. I don't know what null is, but hmm. Um, so we got glass, we got wood, we got brick, and we have corrugated. We also have chain link and hedge. I think I prefer the wood logs out of all of these. I think that's what I will start with. So be but before we do that, let's actually get an animal. So, okay, now there's an African buffalo up for cash, but we... Oh, oh, now there's a whole bunch of stuff up here. Okay, so we've got a lot of animals to choose from. And this cash here... That's just down here that this is that that comes from this. This is your account or whatever. So we have twenty five thousand. If we were to buy this tape here, it'd be a hundred eighty eighty two. And so yeah, so these are really inexpensive. I kind of don't know don't know what the point of putting animals up for sale for cash is because the amount that you would get from it is so little. But people have been doing it apparently. So we got a good choice of things to pick from here. Ideally, we would want to get a male and a female so that they can breed and we can get babies, which we will then be able to put up on this market to get more conservation credits, which we can then use to buy new and cooler animals. So the only animal that I see here that there is a male and a female up here for is the, is the tapirs so we'll go ahead and we'll buy these two tapirs i haven't actually made a tapir exhibit yet so this will be new to me so i think wood logs is probably a good fence type for them so they probably don't need too much room but we'll go ahead and build them a decently sized little enclosure about that and we'll go this way some more. And we want, we want it to be pretty much square. And we've gone a little off, but that's okay. So we'll just connect that there. And so, there we go. Actually, here, let me straighten this out a little bit. So we can go in here and we can edit the barrier. And, oops, whoa, don't do that. No, no, no. So we can go here, we can click this, and you can drag this over here. And you can change where the fence is. You can move the fence around a little bit so we can extend it a little more to make it a nicer square. So right about there should do. And that looks pretty nice. Now that's a little bent, let's push that in or that should go out actually okay okay so there we go so now that's a bit of a nicer more square exhibit now the next thing since these are tapirs they're probably not I mean they're probably not gonna want to jump over the fence or anything so we can just lower the fence down to so right there and that should be fine for tapirs now, obviously, if you're going to have, like, a tiger or a lion or something in here, you wouldn't want to do this. Because they just jump right over the fence. Also, if you have baby ostriches or, like, African wild dogs, um, I think I've heard of wart baby warthogs doing it, too. But there's a glitch right now in the beta here where, for some reason, the, the so babies of certain animals can just hop right through fences. But that doesn't matter if your fence is this low or if it's like this high. So for the the, the for animals like the tapir and there's like what like let's see here like like peafowl right or um, 
uh, these pronghorn antelope, you could probably do it too. But for these guys, you there you, you can just you can have the low fence like this, and they're they're not gonna try and jump over anything. It's 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 gonna be okay, and the guests are gonna have a, a pretty good view of them too. So we've got this fence, but we need to put on a fence gate so that our zookeeper can actually get in there. And now we need to hire some staff. So what we're gonna need, we'll need a caretaker to clean up trash and stuff and do something else. I'm not entirely sure what else they do. But we'll need a keeper to go in there and feed and clean up after the animals. And we will need a mechanic to fix things. And actually that reminds me, we need to add power and water to the zoo in a minute here but we'll also need a security officer to keep people from pickpocketing other people and then a veterinarian to take care of the animals and to do the research for some reason the veterinarians are the ones who research stuff so now we'll need to have some power and water so we'll need to go back here we can do it just back here. And so we can add this transformer and the water treatment. And so when you place these things, this right here, you'll see, you'll want to make sure that this part gets connected to the path. This is the front. That's These need to be connected to paths in order uh, for them to work. Or, well, maybe not work, but at least for the me mechanic to get to them to fix them when they break and they do break a lot okay that's there next I want I guess does that work I guess that works okay and then we'll just connect this to there so now they can access that and the guests aren't going to go down there so they probably won't see that or care about it so now we can get our animals in here so we'll go to our animal trade center here and currently they are stored in this building and you can also click this and click open habitat trading and this this is where your animals are gonna be I also have this guy I was gonna put this in my first zoo but that didn't happen so he's just sitting there in the trade center and I don't know what to do with him yet or her I should say so we've got our two tapirs here and so what we're gonna want to do is we're gonna click move and we're gonna click on the habitat and then we're gonna do the same with the other one and then our caretaker here and our veterinarian those are the only two that will do it for some reason I don't know why the big problem I was having uh, when I first tried to play this was I thought that the zookeeper could put the animals in but nope only the caretaker and the vet so they're moving in here, and they'll just throw these boxes on the ground here, and BAM! Tape ears. There they are, they're inside each other. That's a little freaky, um... But there they are. There are our tape ears. So they're thirsty. So... And the, their welfare is horrible, so now... We actually need to make this a good in exhibit for them. Because right now, it's just... Big open land, there's no food, there's no water, there's no anything. So quickly, we're going to go here to research, and we're going to open this up, and this is our vet. We're going to drag him onto that. Now he's going to start researching them, and you can see down here, that's a a food, uh, food, what's it called? Let me see, uh, that's in habitat. Food enrichment, that's the word. I think that that's f uh, a food enrichment item, that's better food or something, and that's a fun fact or whatever. Um, so once he finishes researching all of that, we'll unlock that, and then he'll move on to the next level. So, while we wait for him to do his thing, let's take a look at our tapirs here, and let's get, let, let's just go ahead and get a good look at them, get nice and close to them real quick. Just have a look at them and see what they look like, because the, the graphics in this game are awesome. So, yep. That's a tapir. I think this is the male, right? Yeah, that's... No, wait, that's a female. Okay. He's the male. Never mind. 
Never mind. Okay. Well, yep, that's pretty cool. Now we need to make a better exhibit for them. And you can see what they want by clicking on them. And then there's these tabs up here. So if you go here, there's the terrain. So they want... Um, we'll get to that in a second. But first, terrain. The terrain is set up is severely inappropriate for this animal. So here you can see what they want more of and what they what they are good on. So they want a little more grass and there's way too much long grass, which is this stuff in there. Oh, and there's a... Well, I guess I was wrong. The tape here will jump over the fence. Maybe it's just because they hate the exhibit right now. We'll get that fixed up and we'll see if things go better. Oh, they also want water area. That's interesting. Ah, okay. He's gonna do it too. Yeah, so I guess they can jump over the fence, but if you have the, the exhibit set up properly, I don't think that they will. They'll probably be happy where they're at. But, so, back to the terrain. We'll just go ahead and you can just click this and it'll automatically bring you over there. There he goes. Hop. Let's just capture you again and move you back in. If they keep doing this, we can just, uh, oh, I see, you're thirsty, okay. Okay, so we'll go ahead and create a place for them to get water. So we'll go here and we'll push this down. Calm down, calm down, I'm getting water for you, okay? Just get them back in here. So back to this. I'm gonna just go to water, calm water, and... Uh, needs to be a little higher than that. Still don't quite understand how to properly set up. Ooh, that's not quite, that's not good. Okay, undo that. And let's see if we can just smooth this out a little bit. That doesn't seem to be working too well. Can I bring it up a little more now? Okay, so there you go. So now they should be able to drink from that. Next, we need to give him some food. So, let's go ahead and we'll open up Habitat and we'll go over here to food and water. And then there's a filter here and you can filter this by species. So, Baird's Taper and this will tell you what they like to eat out of and drink out of. So, we can put in a food trough here. And it's good to get... It, to get it close to where the visitors are going to be seeing them because they like to watch them eat. And we got protesters here. When your animal welfare is low, like it is for these guys currently because we're still setting things up, protesters will come and be irritating. And the next thing, we've got nutrition good. They've got a place to eat. They've got their water. I think they're happy now. Well, I'm wrong. They're not... Well, they're not happy, but I figured they'd be happy enough. Would you stop... This costs me money that I don't have right now. Which reminds me that we need to set up donation boxes. So donation boxes are going to be a pretty important source of income. We'll go grab that guy in a second. So we want to set, up, set these up around the enclosure. And if people like the animals and the exhibits and all that, they will donate. So, okay. So they're all boxed up. We're not even in the exhibit anymore. Where's the guy who's supposed to move them? He's probably on break, isn't he? Who are you? You are the keeper. Alright. Well, looks like everybody's gonna leave. Okay, whatever. That's fine. We still need to set this up. Oh, I can't even see their... Their wants anymore. Fine. Okay, here comes the vet. So he's gonna go take care of those guys. And while we wait for him, we'll just go ahead and edit this. And we'll bring it back up to about there. And they shouldn't be able to jump over that. Of course, people aren't going to be able to see them anymore. So we'll want to change this. We'll want to give this like a window. And then like just turn that into glass. And put some glass there too. Sure. Um, okay, so we got a tape here back in here. So next we'll want Habitat. So the terrain, ah, right, we were still, let's see, it's right here. We're still doing this, so now, you, now, they, now they want more soil. And they really do not like this long grass stuff at all. Let's 
it's getting pretty dark here. Um, is there any way? I think if we go to our options here, when we go to the overview, we should be able to change the time that the zoo is open. So let's change it to uh, about 18 o'clock. That should work. So now I can see a little better. So let's go back here and soil. Well, we have a little too much short grass, so let's let's replace that. There's a little path glitch going on there as well. There we go. So get rid of some more long grass, but also a little bit of short grass, I think, too. And there we go. So their terrain is now better. They're more happy with that. Oh, they actually want plants. Okay. I haven't really had an animal that actually wanted plants in this exhibit yet, so this will be interesting. So we've got this enrichment here, and they need this stuff. So if we go here to Research Center, how is this going? He's not even researching it anymore. Get back to it, stupid vet. Alright, I want to make that water just a little bit better. Because it looks a little weird just on the top of the land like that. Bring the size down a little bit. No, that's way too small. And then it won't even let me do anything with that. Huh. Okay, well, whatever. That's fine. So it looks like the research... Ah! Yeah, there's this glitch too. So it looks like the research is completed. And we have some new things for the tape here. So if we go to Habitat... We open up enrichment items, and there we have this large barrel feeder. So we put that in there, and there is some food enrichment for them. Now we just need a toy enrichment. So keep keep at it, research man. So social adult population. Okay, so that's... They've got a good group. And so now we need to... Okay, let's give them some shelter, too. So in nature... And then... No, that's not right. It's habitat. And then, beds and shelters. So, what if we give you this extra-large bedding? Nope. Okay. They want hard shelter. I don't know what that means, but I'm guessing it's, like, closed shelter. So, if we put that in there, is that better? Yeah, that's, that's perfect. That's what they wanted. So, nah, it's a little dark. Okay. Let's also change the opening time to 6 o'clock so that we can have some more light. So it gets pretty dark at night. Come on. 6 o'clock. There you go. Okay. So now the sun's on its way up. So let's see. Tapir. So, so their welfare for the, the, the terrain is good their social is good nutrition is pretty good the habitat we need plants and then enrichment we need toy enrichment but other than that this is looking pretty good so here um we can see what kind of plants that they want they want plants from the continent south slash central america and from the biomes tropical temperate and grasslands so we can go to nature here and we can go to our filters and we can say continent south slash central america uh, and then biome tropical temperate and grassland and this will pull up all of the foliage that uh, that we have that we can put in there and I don't know why that's a part of that but okay uh, okay, so so the research, more research has been completed. So now, so discovered three items over one species. Cool. So you just keep researching there, okay? <clears throat> I'll go back here, and we'll go ahead and we'll just look through here and we'll see what we want. So we got some nice banana palms here. I think those would be pretty good to have in there. So we'll put like, put some around the around the little lake there um, maybe put a stump in there somewhere 
Get this dead tree over there. Put in a mangrove. Some over here. And so there's that. So that's starting to go up. And they are liking it more. Where else could we put one? Whoa, that's a large tree. That thing is giant. Inspector has arrived at your zoo. So I don't know if you can actually see this guy. But this inspector guy comes along every once in a while. And he just checks to make sure that uh, everything in your zoo is going good. And, like, to make sure that you don't have animals outside the exhibit running around and killing people and making a big mess. Uh, he does fine you for things like if he sees an animal out of the exhibit or if he, if, if the welfare, I think, is low or if he sees protesters and stuff like that. Go ahead and put that tree right there. I think that looks nice. And they just want a little bit more plants. So let's see. I think I saw one. Somewhere over here that looks pretty nice. Uh, oh yeah, let's have like a coconut palm. Right there. So that looks pretty good, I think. But one thing I think we can do to make it look better is this. So the roots. I don't know, do these grow like that normally? Because that's really weird looking. The roots are... But like the tree is midair and the roots are just holding it up. We can go here to advanced move and we get this. And we can use this to drag that down. And make it look nicer. To just have the roots only sort of coming out of the ground. And we can do this for this one as well. There we go. So that looks pretty good. This is a pretty good little exhibit here. I think it looks pretty nice, and I think that the tapirs are quite happy with it. What say you? Other than your toy enrichment. Yep, they like their plants, they like their terrain. Only, the only problem that we have now is meal quality, and I'm not entirely sure how to make that better yet. I think you just have to um, promote your people who make the food enough, and maybe that will increase the quality of their meals and stuff, but um, I think we unlocked um, the other enrichment that we needed, so if you go here back to enrichment and then toys, we got this small ball, so we can put that in there and now their enrichment is 100%. So that's pretty good. Here we got our little tape ears. And they are no longer jumping over the fences, which is good. Because they can't, of course, anymore. That's too high for them. But we could lower it again. I think we could do that and be fine now. But, oh, hey, hey, hey. What are you doing back there? Just having a little trot, I guess. Don't go breaking anything, alright? But I think that they're happy now. And I think if we wanted to lower it again. Uh, she's going crazy back there. But I think if we wanted to lower it again, we could. I don't think we're going to, though, because now I've got all this glass and the windows and stuff. And I think it looks nice. So we're going to keep that how it is. Although, maybe... Could we do something with that? Make that glass. And then that, too. And there we go. So that looks quite nice. Alrighty, so I think that that's going to end this episode. Uh, we got... We got a uh, pretty good little start to our zoo here. It's way better than the one that I started last episode. So we got a nice little exhibit for the tapirs here. And we got some visitors coming in. And they don't they don't seem to be caring about these, which is good. Unless they are. No, they look to be fine. So that's good. So we're going to wrap it up here. If you liked this video, please hit the like button and the subscribe buttons. And make sure to leave a comment down below letting me know what you guys think about this game. Make sure to let me know if you guys want to see more. I think I'll be doing more anyway because I think this game is amazing. I'm, I've been loving it so far and I can't wait to see what they do with it and all the improvements and stuff that they make. What are you guys doing over here? They've shoved this in the corner and they're trying to eat out of it now. Silly little tapirs. Okay. But thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.